So when the infant is nursing, it gets these complicated milk proteins. These bacteria have specialized enzymes that we don't have. There's so much that the gut microbes have in the way of extra enzymes that are not in the human host. You know, they make all these B vitamins as well, and these come out of that shikimate pathway. And the products of the shikimate pathway itself are the aromatic amino acids, which are essential for the proteins. Those are three of those coding amino acids. So those get uh, reduced because the microbes that make them, the pathway they used to make them is getting wrecked by glyphosate. That's that shikimate pathway. So critical metabolites that are normally produced by the microbes are not are, are insufficient. They're, they're, they're deficient. And critical other metabolites that are produced by the pathogens are toxic. So you get this awful mess of uh, the gut being all messed up. And these kids have bloating, they have diarrhea, they have constipation, all these symptoms uh, uh, evident of gut uh, dysbiosis in the autistic kids, well known, well established. And it's really just that the glyphosate is messing everything up. It's a very difficult space because there are so many of them and they're so different from person to person. Everybody has their unique gut microbiome. And, uh, and, and, those, and they're helping you out. And often I think the microbes are growing to uh, help to compensate for, the, for, for what else is going on. They're trying to adjust to the situation to optimize the health of the, of the host, mm -hmm. but they have a hard time doing that when they're being poisoned by glyphosate, basically. And when they make these processed foods, they're basically, basically thinking of fats, proteins, and um, carbs, right? Fats, proteins, and carbs. And what they're leaving out are all these complicated molecules that are produced by plants. You know, you have, uh, if you take herbs and spices and, and even just, you know, regular plants, they produce these very interesting polyphenolic compounds, things that are called polyphenols or flavonoids or terpenoids. Mm -hmm. You know, these are very um, beneficial antioxidant uh, molecules that are quite complicated. They're beautiful looking with lots of circles and stuff. They're amazingly complex, these molecules that are, and there's an enormous number of them. And so eating, um, a lot of herbs and spices is a really good idea because then you're getting all of these complicated molecules. When they make a soy protein bar, there's none of them in there. You know, they're gone. It's just the simple uh, nutrients. So they're not thinking in terms of all these molecules that are really beneficial to our health in ways that we didn't appreciate. And chlorophyll actually can be, you can eat chlorophyll and your cells can make use of it to help with the mitochondria. It's quite extraordinary. I found a paper on that. I mean, it's just, we don't realize all these things that are in our natural foods that are stripped out when we make these processed foods. Whoa. And so when, when we eat only processed foods, those things become deficient. Yeah, well, just the micronutrient deficiencies that you mm -hmm. get when you're eating uh, foods that are impoverished in micronutrients. And a lot of these, you know, like flour and sugar, right? There's no micronutrients in there. Those are so basic uh, foods that have uh, lost all of their uh, nutritional value. In fact, they put things back into the flour. They, you know, they, they try. Um, <laughs> so they, they, they add things back that are probably bad, like the folate, you know, the folic acid that they require in the flour, bad idea, because it's not the natural form of folate that you really need. Folic acid doesn't work. Same but thing they with think, iron. oh, we just put that in. Same iron too, iron. Yeah. They try to iron, yeah, they add it back yes. in. It's not good. It's not the right form, you know, because you have really the natural form in which iron is able to be handled uh, correctly. In fact, heme iron, you know, from the meats is so different from just the iron that's added, you know, added back into the foods. They think they and they think they can just put vitamins back in. You know, you look at the cereal box and it has all these vitamins supplemented to 100 percent of the daily requirement of all of these vitamins. You know, that's not real. I mean, it's just they put those back in. It's, it's heavily processed. It's not natural.